All right, and we're recording. Hey, gang, Andy here, coming at you pook, with my December 2015 update video, part three. So yeah, this is my end of the year update video. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up as to what I've been up to for the past week or so, and uh, what to expect for 2016. So here we go. Um, so right now I'm at uh, Grand Lake St. Mary's in my hometown of Salina, Ohio. So there's the lake right there. And uh, this is just a nice little quiet spot that I like to go to to uh, to record videos, to eat, relax, get out of the house, you know, that sort of thing. So, um, anyway, with today, I just want to talk to you guys about, you know, what's been going on with me lately. So, um, not a whole lot of youtube -y stuff to talk about because I've been really busy in my personal life, but uh, youtube -y stuff is definitely going to be coming out uh, next year, you know, once I get... Once I get all settled into uh, my class schedule, work schedule, all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, basically, um, if you guys don't know, uh, I've moved into my apartment up in Portage, Michigan. All moved in. Uh, a proper apartment tour video is going to be coming out soon, so you guys will be able to see um, how I got everything all set up and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and... Uh, yeah, I've just been busy with that. Uh, I've been busy with trying to find a job. Just a little part-time gig, nothing too special. Uh, I've been looking around at different places, you know, putting in my applications, stuff like that. So, uh, you know, we'll see. But it's the holidays, so um, they're pretty busy with uh, applicants and things like that. So um, it might take a little bit, but uh, hopefully I'll, I'll have something very soon. So, in addition to that, uh, in about a week or two, I'm going to be starting up uh, school again, going to Western Michigan University. Um, going to be majoring in uh, computer information systems, but uh, I guess like how they do it is like for the first year or two, you're technically a business major, like you're just a nondescript business major, and then for the last two, then you actually work towards a major or something like that. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's confusing, you know, because yeah. But anyway, so, you know, I'm working towards that. Um, got all my classes taken care of, you know, for uh, this semester. Um, it was kind of uh, a little daunting to actually sign up for my own classes because um, I never really did that uh, with my other um, uh, colleges that I went to. Uh, it was mostly just I sat down with an academic advisor, and they pretty much told me, okay, you need this class, this class, this class, and this class. And they're like, okay, sign up for it. With uh, with Western, it was a bit more uh, open-ended. So it's just like, okay, you know, they recommended, uh, I think, like maybe two or three classes. And then they decided, you know, okay, you need these two or three classes, and then whatever else you pick for the semester, that's on you. You know, just <laughs> for, like, general electives and stuff like that. So, um... I got an accounting class, a, I think it's micro, yes, microeconomics, not macro. So microeconomics, a sociology class, which is like my last minute pick because I was kind of running out of classes. Um, also got a Japanese class because, hey, you know, why not put a little bit of that, little bit of that Nihon Go to uh, the test, right? You know, learn how to speak Japanese proper rather than pointing at stuff and you know, knowing basic Japanese survival, or survival Japanese, oops. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought I'd do that just to uh, brush up on my Japanese and stuff like that. And yeah, just for something to do, because I'm really interested in it. And I think uh, what I'm planning to do in about a year's time is doing the, uh, the study abroad program. Now, Western has a lot of different study abroad programs. So, and it actually goes hand in hand with my business major too. So it's not just me, you know, leaving the country just because I love Japan, you know. It actually kind of ties in with my major of, you know, having a globally diverse business profile. So, um, there's a couple uh, Japanese uh, colleges and stuff like that that um, have like a co op program or like a student exchange program with Western. And then there's a couple others that I could get through uh, through other means, but uh, some of the ones that uh, they have a co-op with, uh, the most well-known one is uh, Keio University out in Tokyo. It's If it's not the number one, it's like in the top three of Japanese universities. It's basically like 
the Harvard or Yale of Japan, pretty much, in its, uh, you know, famousness, I guess. So, um, that's one I, I really wanted to go to, you know, just because it's so well known and, uh, one of my, uh, favorite YouTubers of all time, the late, great Roger Swan went to KO as part of an exchange program as well. So I thought that'd be kind of neat to do it, do it as well. But, um, the thing with KO is though, it's, uh, it's also in Tokyo. So, um, I was out in the uh, Kanagawa area before, so it's just like, for me to go back to that, it's just going to be, well, me going back to that. And, you know, I love Tokyo. Tokyo's nice. But the thing is, it's it's not going to be anything that new, really. You know, because it's pretty much going to be a case of been there, done that. Because, you know, I've already been to a lot of the places. Not all, but a lot of the places that I've wanted to see in Tokyo. And for me to go back to that, it's just going to be, you know, retreads and stuff like that. And plus, you know, there's a bajillion other, you know, YouTube videos out there talking about how great Tokyo is. And, you know, why do, why should I, you know, put my little drop in the bucket for that. So, um, there's also other places that I want to, uh, go to as well. Like, uh, uh there's a couple, uh, universities in Kyoto. I've. I think it's like Ritsu Mei Daiken or something like that. Uh, the name kind of <clears throat> escapes my head right now, but I think that's it. Um, that's one of the uh, the universities out in Kyoto that I'm thinking about going to. Uh, they have one up... Uh, it's not Sapporo, Sapporo, but it's like near Sapporo. It's like a satellite city of Sapporo which is another interesting thing, but, you know, it's a lot of cold weather, so I'm a little iffy on that, but it would be interesting, and I don't know a lot of people that make videos up that way, so I think it would be a pretty interesting experience if I were to do something like that, and of course, Kyoto, you know, not a lot of, you know, people doing their thing up in Kyoto, other than going to, like, the temples and stuff like that, but even then, it's just like, you know, onesies, twosies, so, um, so there's that one, uh, I think there's another one a bit further south, like in Kumamoto or something like that. I think um, I'll have to I'll have to get back to you on that. But I definitely know the one, you know, Keio, obviously. Then there's a couple in Kyoto. Uh, there's one up north in Sapporo or in the nearby Sapporo area. And then there's ones a bit further south, which is what I'm thinking because I want I want to go to a uh, a southern Japanese university just because um, when I visited um, Hiroshima and uh, also visited uh, Sasebo uh, it was just a beautiful place and it was very very scenic Japan not necessarily traditional Japan I mean they had a lot of that too but it was very scenic in that there was a lot of little islands and stuff like that it's just it's just a beautiful place so I definitely want to see if I can get to a university down there, but um, barring that, I would say probably Kyoto, because it's more the traditional Japan. You know, you got a lot of the temples and stuff like that, so that would be kind of neat to see. And to experience a whole other side of Japan. I've never been to, Ka to the Kansai region before, and uh, the Kansai region is known as like the business capital of Japan, pretty much, you know, Shinjuku be damned. <laughs> I guess, but uh, a lot of a lot of famous businesses out in that area. I mean, the most one of the most well known, at least for me, is uh, Nintendo HQ is actually in Kyoto, and a lot of uh, Nintendo alumni are from that area as well. So it'd be kind of neat to see um, the area where a lot of you know well known game designers came from, and the area that kind of inspired them to make games and stuff like that. You know. Games like Zelda, Pokemon, not so much Mario, but, you know, you know, stuff like that. So I think that'd be kind of interesting. Uh, but that's a bit more further long-term planning, maybe, maybe in about a year or two. So um, that's definitely something I want to do. Uh, but in the meantime, um, I'm going to be uh, doing this year, um, just starting out. I decided to make a, a fairly easy course load just because it's been a while since I've been in college 
And I know it's going to be easy, you know, well, I say it's going to be easy, but uh, I just wanted to kind of ease myself into uh, the course load rather than thinking, oh, college is going to be a breeze and just like overload myself with the courses. And plus I wanted to leave myself uh, open so that way I can, you know, work a decent schedule so I can get some hours and stuff like that. Even though I, I really don't need a whole lot of hours, but... I still want, you know, a decent amount of, of time left over so that way I can, you know, allocate it to work and then, you know, making YouTube videos and stuff like that, which is definitely something that I'm going to be doing more of in 2016. Um, it's going to be a lot of changes to the channel, a lot of, uh, it's going to be a major focus shift in 2016. Um, I'm going to be focusing a lot on the Let's Play scene. For my uh, Andy Cade channel, I'm gonna be, uh, you know, giving it the old college try, as they say. So um, I got a lot of ideas for the channel, a lot of game ideas that I want to do. Um, I already have the equipment pretty much um, taken care of. Uh, I might get a couple things here and there, but uh, for the most part, the the basics are covered. So um, <clears throat> I just want to get that get that off the ground. Um, you know, get the games that I want to review out there, and, uh, you know, stuff like that, so, um, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm just, like, whenever I go online and I look at a lot of Let's Players, and I'm kind of, you know, gleaning a little bit of stuff from them, like how they do videos, and there's a lot of different styles of how Let's Players do things, you know, there's people that have the face cam, and there's people that don't have the face cam. There's some people that do, like, long-form Let's Play, you know, like the Grumps, uh, Super Beer Bros, stuff like that. Then there's others like Markiplier and PewDiePie who do more, like, highlight style. I think, I think for me, like, I, I would be more of, like, a, a combination of the two as far as how their editing goes. You know, just, you know, kind of cut out a lot of the boring parts but still have more of like a casual flow to it. Um, it's not going to be all screams and reaction videos and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I still want to keep it fairly entertaining and, you know, ramp up the personality a little bit, you know, be a bit more animated, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, maybe put in some live action stuff before the episode. That's another idea I've been tinkering around with as far as you know, what I want to do for games. And speaking of games, like, I have so many ideas for games, but, um, uh, like, I don't know how I want to schedule this because I don't know if I want to, you know, stick with a, you know, one video a day sort of format with my Indicate channel. Or should I do, like, two videos a day? Um, three videos is a bit much, but I think two videos a day would be ideal. So I've just been kind of toying around with, well, what do I want to do? You know, do I want to have, like, a theme? Do I just want to, you know, play a game for a week and then start a new game or something like that? You know, I just... Because I know that there's some games that you can't finish in a week, or at least a, a week's worth of Let's Plays. So I wanted to get back to them. And it's just a bunch of, you know, debating on what I'm going to do. But I think ultimately I just got to do it, <laughs> really. And, um, once I'm actually in the groove with it, then I can, you know, make corrections as needed. But the, uh, the initial idea for Andy Cade is to, um, have it be, uh, one video a day, every day. Um, I don't know times yet. I'm thinking probably afternoon-ish, Eastern Standard Time. So maybe between, like, uh, 12 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. Um, again, toying with the schedule idea, you know, it's, it may change, but the idea is to have, uh, one video a day every day, uh, do one game a week, and then every week change it up, and then, um, as far as bringing games back, I'm not sure how I want to do that, I'm not sure if, like, maybe do one game one week, do a new game next week, and then, the week after that, bring back the game from the first week. Um, still kind of toying with the idea. Um, who knows? <laughs> or, or maybe just, you know, mix it up and have, like, 
a different game every day or like have, you know, cycle between two different games, you know, have one game released Monday, another Tuesday, and then the previous game on Wednesday. Um, just a lot of different uh, ideas as far as how I want to do things. So that's what I want to do starting off. Um, later, as I get used to the uh, the format and can, you know, record stuff a bit more efficiently, then I want to upgrade it to uh, two videos a day every day. And uh, possibly do three. I don't know if three is pushing it. It just, uh, it just depends because, like... <laughs> It just depends on where it goes from here. Um, if if I can manage to pull off three videos a day, you know, I'll do it. But uh, again, it's very time consuming, and uh, you know, there has to be some kind of you know uh, something. Uh, I lost bleh, lost my train of thought. <laughs> But basically, like, you know, I don't want to overwork myself, essentially, you know, as I'm rambling on here. So I don't want to overwork, overwork myself, but I do want to get uh, good videos out there, a lot of good games, stuff like that. So uh, I guess, like, the the game, not really a theme or a motif per se, it's just uh, I'm going to be going over a lot of games that um, that I grew up with. You know, the whole retro game thing. I know, so original. <laughs> but uh, a lot of retro games, retro style games, uh, anime style games, some anime games, because there are some anime series out there that made good games. Uh, definitely want to get those on the show. Um, you know, like I said, games I grew up with, um, newer sequels to games that I grew up with, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Um, stuff like that, and uh, I'm just, I'm really excited about, you know, what I'm going to be doing for the show, and I just, I, I just have so many ideas, and, um, but ultimately though, even though I have a lot of ideas, it's, it's all about the execution of the ideas, isn't it, you know, just, um, it doesn't really matter how well, um, or how well the game selection is, like if my commentary is off, or if, me personally, if I'm not that engaging of a Let's Player, then the whole thing's just whatever, you know? So, um, I definitely want to give it the old college try and, you know, get the new channel off the ground, um, stuff like that. So, um, we'll see where it goes from there. If it's a success, then I'll run with it. If not, then, you know, it's whatever. Um, I'll probably just, you know, downscale it, do it for fun, stuff like that. But, you know... Ultimately, time will tell, so keep myself open to either possibility. Uh, but aside from that channel, um, there's going to be some uh, major, major news for my main channel in the coming months. i um, really excited about the changes and stuff like that that are going to be happening to the main channel. Um, really nervous, too, because um, it's, a, it's a very major change. In the main channel and uh, I hope you guys will stick around with me for it and I know I'm gonna probably alienate some people especially the the long-termers uh, for it but uh, hopefully you guys will stick around with me for it um, who knows <laughs> it may be my downfall on YouTube I don't know but uh, um, but I'm hoping that you guys stick around you know ha have something new something fresh super fresh bros on the uh, on the main channel, so uh, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, I'm gonna keep it a little bit quiet for uh, for a couple months until it's completely developed. But uh, hopefully you guys will like it, and uh, we'll just go on from there. So I see I've been rambling on for quite some time. So um, better end things here. So yeah, this is the Andy Son. Sign up for now. Thinking you guys poop for uh, tuning into this rambly, long uh, update vlog, last video of the year for 2015, and uh, for watching my other stuff. Also want to thank you guys for liking with the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party, and hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys. Bye.
See you in 2016. <laughs> Bye.